Hello friend, welcome back. In our previous video here, we are able to successfully install Laravel SpyDeck package, right? For the role and permission. Now, step by step, we have to do, we have to use it. So here, when you install that SpyDeck package, it will actually create some of the default table as a model has permission, model has role, the permission, roles, and role has permission right so now first of all we have to create some of the permission then we have to create some of the role and then we have to assign all that role in particular that permission so step by step now we have to done all the job like first of all i want to complete that permission like i want to create some of the i want to add some of the permission and then also we have to edit this permission we have to create another simple code application for the permission table okay now let's do that work for doing this i want to do right now in our project okay into the project user here we don't need it that is also i have done this job great now i want to do in our admin into the admin i want to create another new menu uh, let's create it if you want to do this work simply go to our admin that means that will be in our resources view admin and the body and that is our sidebar right so now into the sidebar i want to create another new sidebar mm, better i want to do uh, that will be the docs right so this type of one of the things i want to take i want to go down that is one of the docs better i want to copy it okay copy it and after that i paste it and also i want to do right now there is a ui li started li is ended there is also two of this menu better i want to take it i cut it okay i cut it or rather then you can also take it in here i cut it and now first of all i want to add it okay now that will be another role and permission i name it as a role and okay permission permission that will be the role and permission and our menu name will be the same as a role and permission okay I name it as a role and permission and for this role and permission first of all i want to complete that our um, permission all so now that will be all permission okay great now i want to create one of the new route better i want to do here i want to create another new route that will be the route okay route and route name i name it as a all permission permission great great so now this type of one of the route i want to create first of all i want to do if you go to our web route into the web route better that will be in our back end so into the back end i want to create another new controller and that will be better so i want to do to name it as a php artisan and then make controller and then i want to create on the new controller in our back end folder as a role controller okay role controller great now this type of one of the controller i want to create uh, in our back end now that should be created another new controller as a role controller now that is successfully created which is fine and now if you go here if you go to that our app and then http that is our controller and with the back end i have created another new controller as a role controller so our first job is we have to do we have to support it so that is in our back end in our web.php area now we have to support our controller name that will be as a role controller so that will be as a role controller okay great and now that will be also protected for the admin i have already created on the group middleware for the admin now better i want to do here you can see that is also admin group middleware as a role should be as a admin now better i want to copy it and now here one by one we have to add it like after the testimonial so everything is in already in our group middleware you can see now after that i want to paste it so now that will be for the permission permission okay sorry permission permission uh, type um, all that will be as a permission all route great and now to support our controller name that will be as a role controller great so into the role controller now one by one we have to create this type of one of the route for the reasons here i want to take it one by one i will update okay so if you now go to that our sidebar our name will be as a all permission simple process now i name it our name route name will be as a all permission url will be as a all permission and also i want to create another new method as a all permission i want to create this method in our role controller now if you go to that our role controller here i want to create one of the new one that will be as a public sorry that will be as a public and then function our method name will be as a all permission okay and also i want to better make it as a and method great 
great so here first of all we have to do i want to do i want to use that our permission right if you go to our database table here now i want to do i want to access that permission table so for that permission i didn't create any model right and also that is another table as a role table you can see that is all the default when you install that is by the package it's actually generated all that our table so for the reasons here if you want to access that our role table if you want to access that our permission table if you want to access it by the model in that case here if you go to spite official page here also you can see that will be actually role and that will be for the permission so now i want to down to use that default spidey model that is will be as a spidey permission models and then permission okay so now we around to support both of this i want to support it as a role and permission i copy it and now if you go here first job is we have to do have to support it now by this permission we are able to access our spidey permission table so from here our process process will be same i want to get all the data i take one of the variable as a permission okay i name it as a permissions and permission will be i want to now access it our model name model name as a permission so now with this permission i want to do i want to get all data okay i simply get all the data now i want to visible it in our return so that will be the return one of the view page so into the return view i want to do in our back end i want to create another new folder as a pages okay pages and then in here i want to create another new file that will be as a uh, permission or rather than better i want to create another new folder as a permission permission and then i want to do to create another new file that will be as all underscore permission okay permission simple things and then i want to pass it with the compact method with the compact i name it i take the things all that are permissions that i take it with this variable as a permission and here i simply add it okay friend i am just simply separated because into the same folder i want to also i have to also create another role functionality so for the reasons here i want to do in our resources view into the resources view in our back end into the back end i want to create another new folder i just click as a new folder i name it as a pages and then i want to create another new folder as a permission permission related all the things i want to add in permission folder and into the permission folder area i want to create on the new file i want to create on the new file and i just uh, simply click as a save as okay i click as a save as i name it as all permission dot blade dot php great great so here i want to do i want to get simply all that our data so that will be just like our if you go to that our many other pages i have already done a lot of the time like if you go to that amenities all amenities here that is one of the data table right i want to better copy everything from here all from our all amenities now i want to add it in our all permission page so now simply i want to update so here also that will be one of the new button as a add permission okay permission great so that will be our all permission permission all and for the permission all i want to do that will be display our permission name okay permission name will be display and also i want to do i want to get group by permission okay then that will be better if you go to that our database table if you go to that our permission table into the permission table here you can see by default they are using that name and that is also another one as a guard name also i want to do when you add that multiple permission then i want to do and to get all that our group by data so i will also show you like first of all here i want to better go to that structure i want to add another new field okay if you go to that structure and into the structure after that guard name i want to do and to add another one so i after that guard name i want to take another new field okay I click as a go why i'm actually getting it everything will be more clear like i name it okay I name it as a group group underscore name this type of one of the field i want to take and then i want to make it as a worker here i want to put that length and also i want to make it as a nonable okay i simply added one of the new field that will be as a group underscore name now click as a save now that should be also added another new tab field you can see there is a new field in our permission table as a group name great so right now i want to do i want to display the name i want to display that our group name guard name will be not needed by default that will be get it as a web guard because laravel by default using that web guard right so i want to display that permission name i also want to take another field that will be here that will be here as a group name okay i name it as a group 
group name great so that will be display permission name and then group name and then the action great so here i have already get all that are permission that i take the things with this variable with the compact function i pass it in our all permission page now that will be our permission as key now with, with this it will be display our serial number our permission name our field name as a name i want to do and to display with this item that will be display the name and also i want to do and to take another field and our field will be as a group name okay i want to do and to take it that will be as a group name great great so now that should be display all that our data so right now i don't have any data so now that should be display empty now click as a save all and i want to update that our optimize that will be the php artisan optimize optimize right now i want to click as the enter now our optimize is successfully running and now if you go to that our back end now that should be another new menu if you refresh it and now if you go you can see that is our role and permission that is a role and permission and here that is our all permission if you go to that our all permission Hmm. you can see our data table is successfully loaded right now i don't have any data for the reasons it's not display nothing great so you know next video i want to complete our add permission page okay so how to do this work but i want to continue this process you know next video i will show you that things with the live example so thanks for watching i will see you in the next video